Always act like you can't afford the bread until they find out you own the bakery. Stay humble. You gotta act like you can't afford the bread. Let these motherfuckers find out you own the bakery. Remain humble. But in all actual reality, it was a point in time where you actually really couldn't even afford the bread. I'm just keeping it straight real. And I'm talking about myself. It was a point in time in my life I couldn't even afford a whole loaf of bread. But I didn't give up. I didn't throw in the towel. I said, Lord, I know you got a vision. Lord, I know you got a plan. Lord, I know you got a purpose for my life. But now God is blessing. God has taken me to a whole nother level. Guess what? Act like you can't afford the bread. And dude, they will soon find out that you own the bakery. And to be honest with you, they pretty much already know you own the bakery. But they will never tell you. They will never give you the reconciliation. They will never give you the, rec uh, the recognition that you need. Understand what I'm saying? People know that you own the bakery. They will never pat you on your back. They will never congratulate you because of the simple fact that you are the owner. That's deep. That's why you have to ride this thing by yourself. Because the people around you, they can't really afford the bread. Nor their owner. But once they're around you, these people know that you are the owner. People know what you're made of. They know your capabilities. They know your qualities. They know your qualifications. They know that you are the GOAT. They know that you are the chosen one. But we have to remain humble. Chosen ones, we have to stay out the way. Because we know what we're capable, capable of doing. We know the blessings that we are receiving from God. We know exactly what's going on. Be ye separate. Come out from amongst these people, y'all. Stop going around telling everybody your business. Stop going every going around telling everybody, you know, what you got in the bank and, and stop showing off to people. Because when it's all said and done, these people don't give a damn about you. It's sad how a piece of paper, money, can control people's emotions and make people jealous and hatred of somebody. A piece of paper that has a little power and it can definitely make people hate you and be jealous of you. A paper. The love of money can really turn people against you. The love of money. And it's happening every single day. That's why you got to stay from around these folks. Everybody don't have money. Everybody don't own a bakery. People are coming to your bakery to buy your bread. You think these people want to hang out with you? Oh, yeah, they do want to hang out with you. So they can see what they can get out of the bakery for free. People will really walk into your bakery, your own bakery, knowing you the owner, and ask if they can get something for free. Some people steal. I understand where I'm coming from. They're just like a store. People always will try to find out what they can get out of you. Understand what I'm saying? And it's your bakery. And just imagine if you just keep giving stuff for free. Guess what? Your bakery going to shut down. <laughs> I need somebody to share this video because I'm going in today. Your bakery going to shut down because you're giving everybody some shit for free. It don't work like that. What you put out is what you get back. Ain't nothing life free. Understand what I'm saying. But guess what? You got to act like you don't even, can't even afford the bread. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. Especially when it comes to your finances. You keep that private between you and God. Not even between your girlfriend, you know, fellas not, or ladies, not even between you and your boyfriend. That's when you got to separate the two, y'all. 
Y'all be mixing money with love and all that. No, it don't work like that. I realize even when you are in a relationship, you're supposed to remain humble. Stop telling people what you do. Stop telling people your income. Stop telling people, you know, what you got so you can get these people. Knowing in actual reality, these people really don't fuck with you. If I'm if I'm getting with a queen, my next queen gonna love me for me. She not gonna love me for my possessions. I don't want the woman to love me because I got money or love me because I'm on YouTube and I'm popping on YouTube. I don't want that because it's not real. And you have some people out here will use you because you have money. Use you because you're very successful. Use you because they see greatness inside of you. People do it all the time. The devil is always seeking to whom he may devour. That don't mean try to kill. That means to steal and destroy. The devil always lurking to see who he, who can he rob out of $5. You'd be surprised. The devil will sit back and say, man, I wonder how I can get $5 out this brother. How can I get $20 out this brother? You'd be surprised. But the devil is a liar because guess what? What God got for you is just for you. Understand, understand. So act like you can't even afford the bread until they find out you own the bakery. Ask God to give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding because a lot of people get killed because of money over paper. The love of money. It doesn't make any sense. People's lives are being taken over a dollar bill. People lives have been taken over the new Jordans that somebody else wanted. Come about them Jordans or you're gone. It doesn't make any sense. The love of money when all actual reality, you could have really worked and made you some money and bought you the same pair of Jordans that person had on. You didn't have to take that person's life. I done seen it happen over and over again. It's sad how the world is because of money. I asked God, I said, Lord, I pray that you would never change me. I don't want to be changed because, you know, God is blessing me with money and blessing me with riches and blessing me to be successful. I don't want to change because guess what? When God done for me, guess what? He can do the same thing for you. That's why we have to remain humble because what God giveth, he can show, take it away. I've been there before. God took it away from me because guess what? I let pride got in the way. I let ego got in the way. And it can get in the way when it comes with having money and being successful in life. But you tell that devil he a liar and the truth ain't in him. That's why you have to pray. Man should always pray and not lose sight. I'm speaking straight facts. Be ye separate, come out from amongst these folks. These people don't mean you no good. They find out you own a bakery, oh, it's a wrap. They really ain't going to like you. When I, when I was at my lowest, people used to hit me up all the time. This is straight facts. When I was really at my lowest, I used to get hit us from everybody. I felt like everybody was my friend. But now your boy on top of the world, I can't get a text message. Understand, understand. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> understand, understand. And people know you own the bakery. People know now. People see you, they know, but they gonna never tell you. Understand where I'm coming from. When you on a new level in life, when you on a whole nother success level in life, Trust me, everybody going to leave. Everybody. It's going to feel like you ain't got nobody. That's how it feels. But let me tell you something. If God is for me, can nobody be against me? That's number one. And number two, God will never leave me, nor he will forsake me. I'm going to be fine. Trust me. Think about successful people. Think about them. They're always by themselves. I'm talking about really, really successful people. And that they're not by themselves. They're either married with family, with children. But I'm telling you, you find somebody very successful, they're most likely by themselves. Because they know 
how other people treat them because of their success, because of their successful, people will really hate you. People know what success is by them. People feel success when, it, when it's next to them. They know it. I know it. I knew it. When I was at my lowest, I knew who was the chosen one. I knew who had money when I didn't have no money. I knew it. You can feel it. Ain't nothing you can really see because they're not going to show you nothing. But you can just feel it. That's why energy is real. When you're around people and you're successful, they don't got to know you own a bakery. They can feel that shit. And not only they can feel it, they can see it. I can see success. I don't know about you. Oh, yes, I can see success. I can just look at a person and tell. Some people really hide it good. Some people can really hide it. They'll look bummy, hair all yappy. Understand what I'm saying? Pants dirty. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. That's why you don't judge a book by its cover. Some people really will play that role. They will really look like a bum and dress like a bum for the rest of their lives. Because they know any little haircut, any little new pairs of shoes, any little thing. People going to know I got some money. And some people are really low key like that. I'm not going out like that. You already going to know I'm successful, number one, because I'm fly. And when I was broke, I was always fly. When I was homeless in the streets, I was still looking good every day. You wouldn't even knew I was homeless. That's another thing. Stop letting people know what you're going through. People ain't got to know you're going through everything. People ain't got to know you're going through bad times. People just want to be noticed so they can talk about you. Stop letting everybody know what you're going through. Because guess what? They got problems of their own. Stop showing people what you're going through. When you show a person what you're going through, they ain't got to ask nothing. They're going to just be looking at you. My granny always say, when you leave the house, you look your very best. And life is so short. Every day you should really be looking your best. I'm just speaking straight facts. Every day you should be looking your very best. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. Don't let nobody see you doing bad. Don't let nobody see you failing in life. Keep your head up because better days are coming for you. Better days are coming for you. Understand where I'm coming from. Be you steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. So, when it's all said and done, remain humble. God got a plan, God got a vision for you. Remain humble. Because everybody not getting blessed like you. Stop letting people know that you own a bakery. Act like you can't afford the bread. We're living in our last days. People not even working right now. People don't even want to go back to work. Understand where I'm coming from. Everybody is not successful. Everybody don't have money like that. Everybody is living a totally different life. Then the chosen ones, then the successful ones, then the rich ones, then the wealthy ones, abundance, prosperity. I need everybody to come at 11 11 because new beginnings is coming. Prosperity is coming. Abundance is coming. I need everybody to like this video. I need everybody to subscribe to my channel. WTC Gain, you already know what to do. If any one of these messages resonate with your spirit, please share this video. Share this video, man. Because somebody out there really needs to hear this. Act like you can't afford the bread until they find out you own the bakery. Stay humble. Because what God is doing in your life, he's not doing it in everybody's life. When God put a certain kind of chip in you, he didn't put that chip in everybody else. You wonder why you're always positive. You wonder why you're always getting blessed. You wonder why you always got good spirits and always happy and at peace. Not even going through not one stress level in your life. 
Because you know why? You are God's chosen. And when you're God's chosen, you're God's favorite child. Be separate, man. Come out from amongst these folks, man. Everybody don't own a bakery. People are in your store buying your product. They don't need to know you own a bakery. You'll be surprised you go in, in, in certain grocery stores and bakeries in real life and a man be the cashier and he the only motherfucker in there. And you think this motherfucker is just a cashier. And when he go to his car, he got a Toyota Corolla. But you don't even know his bank account got millions and millions of dollars. Because that man is humble. He don't need to prove anything to nobody. He already know what this world is about. People will love you when you're down and hate you when you're up. It's weird. It didn't matter when I was down. I understand where I'm coming from. It didn't matter when I was down. I congratulated people who was on the mountaintop. I always gave praise to people who had the bag. I always made sure that I showed love to people that was above me and asked them, yo, how did you do it? Instead of hating on the person that owned the bakery, I asked the guy in the bakery, how, how's business going? How do you become an owner of this bakery? But a lot of people probably get in the way. They're not going to ask you anything because they're in low-key competition with you, y'all. That's why we don't have any competition. Understand where I'm coming from. That's why we don't have no competition. We're not in competition with nobody but ourselves. That's why you have to be separate. Come out from amongst these people. Understand where I'm coming from. And just know if God did it for me, he going to show enough to do it for you. Join the WTC mentoring program because I'm telling you, we just added a couple more members to the WTC family. Welcome. Let me be your mentor. I'm going to get you to the next level. Shoot me an email. Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. Understand, understand. I'm letting you know if you join my WTC mentoring program, I will get you to the next level. Any prayer requests, any testimonies, I want to hear about it. Because I'm telling you, we're going higher. We don't have no time to look back, y'all. And when you join my mentoring program, I am going for excellence. I'm not, excuse me, I'm not mentoring you for mediocre. I am going to push you for excellence. I'm going to really push you to your, to your limit. I wish I had somebody that talked like me and, and was a mentor like me when I was younger. I didn't have that. Motherfuckers was like you on your own. When my granny left at 16 years old, I was on my motherfucking own. And that's straight facts. When my grandmother left, I was on my own ever since I was 16 years old. I was just in a whole nother world. I was working a nine to five. Ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five. But I'm going to tell you something. That motherfucking boss would never would never pay you to be his motherfucking neighbor. You don't care if it's a man boss or a woman boss. They would never pay your ass to be their motherfucking neighbor. I always thought it should be the opposite way. I'm going to keep it real. When you work in a nine to five, I think you should really get a minimum at least $20 an hour. Let's keep it real with the people. They will play your ass. That's why I'm believing nine to five. I think every job, if you're doing a nine to five, especially if you work in eight hours a day, the minimum should be at least $20 an hour. Understand what I'm coming from. But guess what? The boss would never pay you to be his fucking neighbor. And I'm not talking about just a fucking manager. 
even his ass ain't the boss. Understand what I motherfucking understand. Understand what I motherfucking I'm saying right now. Even his ass got a motherfucking boss. And guess what? The boss, the manager's boss, right? Guess what? His ass got a motherfucking boss. Think I'm lying? Understand what the fuck I'm saying. Understand, understand. And guess what? His weird ass, guess what? While he had, while he had at fucking home with his feet up, clipping his toe fucking nails, guess what? His ass got a motherfucking boss. Y'all think I'm playing. Y'all think I'm playing. And guess what? His motherfucking ass, the top, 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 top motherfucker, right? The CEO four. I don't give a fuck what you call him. The master of, of, of economics. I don't give a fuck what you call him. Guess what? His motherfucking ass got a boss. The cycle continues to go. It's so much money in this motherfucking world. I'm telling y'all, everybody got a motherfucking boss. And you wonder why I say put down that motherfucking nine to five and start your own motherfucking business. Don't put your name on your business. Get the hell out of Dodge. And know that God is with you. It's spiritual warfare going on, y'all. We have to remain humble. Stay the hell out the way. Because we are really living in our last and evil days. Understand what I'm motherfucking saying right now. And just know if you need a friend, you know you got it in me, baby. If you need prayer, you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you got the best motivational speaker in myself, y'all. I'm telling y'all, we going up. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, be a blessing. Support the movement. Whatever God put on your heart to give. My cash app is God will provide three zero. My PayPal is God will provide three zeros. The same exact thing. It will also be in the description below. Understand, understand. I'm telling you guys. Be, be ye separate. Come out from amongst these people, y'all. Y'all gonna be sending me thank you letters on Christmas because I'm telling y'all right now, let these motherfuckers find out you own the bakery. Don't just stop telling motherfuckers you own the bakery. You know what I'm saying? Remain humble and watch God do for you. He gonna do even more for you. I love each and every one of you guys. And there's nothing you can do about it. We the chosen ones. Oh, excuse me. Be blessed.